good morning I just woke up like I literally just woke up and come to the store to get some creamer but um yeah I just want to say like there should be some sort of law in motion where like if you are so dumb and I'm gonna say that's about the one of the dumbest things you can do if you know a coffee drinker you know exactly what I mean you do not mess with them in any way, shape, or form until they've had their coffee. And I mean any way, shape, or form. And talking to them and then saying stuff or doing stuff that you know is going to make them angry is like... Hold on. My brain's having like a freaking moment. Like, this is the dumbest thing you can ever do. Especially if you're in, it involves me. Like, that is... I cannot tell you how dumb that is. And I cannot stress to you how important it is. That you don't with me before I've had my coffee. Because if you do, I'm already tired. I'm already irritable. I did not want to get up the way you woke me up. And <clears throat> you want to sit there and do that. Then if you are going to be so, so ridiculous and push me. I'm trying to get this other thing of creamer out and go put it in the trash. But, and and I snap and kill you, then there should be a law in place where it's kind of like the crime of passion thing. Like, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm not responsible for how I respond to your stupidity in the morning. You know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to go throw this in the trash. Then I'm going to go back to the house. I'm going to show you some dried pieces where there's a lot of, like, really good light because there's a lot of sunlight out today. And then uh, I'm going to show you my Sam challenge that I finished last night. So, we'll be back. Let me get this sip of coffee in me. Uh, you see what I mean? After that, like a world becomes a different place through my eyes and everything is going to be okay. Because I'm going to go back to the house and we're going to try really hard to just tune people out. The first thing I want to show you guys is this book, The Universe. And um, I know everybody's like, oh, what's so cool about that? Well, let me show you what's so dang cool about that. Because I want to protect some people's things that are going on in here. It says. Yeah, there we go. So it says. This was signed by astronaut Jim Lovell. Apollo 8 and 13 missions. Love mom. And down there. Down there. At the bottom. That's his signature. So yeah, so there's that, which I, that could be a really big deal. Like, I mean, a really, 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 really big deal. Even though he's still alive, it was the, uh, Apollo 8 was like the first, I think the first manned mission to the moon. But that was the first thing I want to show you. The second thing I want to show you is my awesome, awesome t-shirt. See my awesome t-shirt. And the third thing I had to run and get because I, I did not have it sitting here ready. So the next thing, I got to give you a story behind it. The story behind it is that I was in Goodwill last week, and there was this really big T-shirt that was like, um, it said "Good Vibes" on it, and I can't remember what the picture was that was on it, but it was awesome. But it was like way too big for me. So since I'm not good with clothes, like the cutting them up and redoing them and all that stuff, I'm not good at that. I just was like, I'm gonna let that go, even though I really want that. The universe was like, okay, Emma. So that was too big. And since you really wanted something that had something to do with vibes on there, we're going to throw you a freaking bone here. And I went in there the other day, and I got this fabulous little gem for a dollar. I was so freaking pumped like you do not even know. I probably look like a freaking mad lady running out of that Goodwill like, woo, with all my fines that day. But either way, I just thought I would share that with you guys. Um... So, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this and get into my paint clothes. I think, I think that's all I really wanted to get into. Oh, yeah. I cannot even believe I almost forgot this. So, last week I happened to notice that I had already passed uh, 25 subscribers. And I know that's like, wow, big whoop-de-doo for me. 
it's a really big deal. Especially since I only started my channel like maybe a month ago. If that, excuse me. And uh, so, like, I want to get to 30. Obviously, I want to get to 100, like Brooke. And then I want to keep going and going and going. But it's not really that big of a deal to me. But if I could get to 30, if I could even get to 50 before my birthday in December, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. But, um, so yeah, so there's that. So let me give some shout outs to the ones that I know have subscribed. Shout out to Naptime Creations and, um, Zoe Eve Art. I'm almost positive that she subscribed to me too. So thank you guys. That's awesome. Um, so now you don't have to worry about clowns coming and lurking over you while you sleep. I'm not really sure why they do that, but. There's not really a whole lot I can do about that. So, with that being said, I'm going to go get some paint clothes and then get the camera turned back around and back down on the canvas or whatever. Hey, guys. So, just a quick little snippet of some finished pieces. This is my Sam piece. And, uh, hold on, I did not turn that down quite low enough. So, sorry, B. Sorry, Brittany. <clears throat> but, yeah. This is my sand piece. And I just, I just don't know, honestly. It's not that I don't like it, but it's not that I love it. I do like this one little spot right there. That's, that's about it. I don't really like sky blue. I never have. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? It's just. I don't know. This, though, El Spicy. El Spicy. This one is for you. This is the one that you asked for. The uh, flip and drag on the yin yang. And even though it looks like it's crackled and stuff, the texture itself is very, very smooth. So, um, I'm not really sure how I got that effect, to be honest with you guys. But, you know, it's always something I'm willing to try again. <clears throat> and then, of course, this is the the triangle piece. The, the, this piece in particular goes to a larger piece made up of smaller canvas pieces. So, and uh, this symbol is actually the water sign. Down one is water sign and there is a, there was one that came before this that you guys haven't seen yet. There's also a couple of pieces of art that I just haven't showed you guys very much of. So, um, and for the most part, um, the backgrounds of my videos from here on out will be other artwork that I've done that's already finished. So, so yeah, so there's that. And, um, this is just part of the little studio I was talking about. I'll take you over here and show you another little quick area. This is where my paint, some of my supplies are stored all in their nice little caddies completely looking like crap right now because I've just been mixing and trying to get stuff together and then of course there's some of that there's more leftover paint down in there and then I have this other little thing right here that has my whole little stand on it and all that stuff so I don't want to go too far up my walls and I'm sorry that you have to see the floor for a second but that's where a lot of my art is on the walls already. The ones I finished. Oh, oh, oh crap. I can't believe I almost forgot. Hold on, hold on. This one is the official double cut. That's the official double cut. Yin yang. Isn't she beautiful? It's actually one of my most favorite pieces so far. So, can't believe I almost forgot that one. So, and, um, so what I'm thinking now that I'm doing this one and I have some other videos to go with it is this will be a two-part video and the other part will, of course, be a pour. So, oh yeah, and guess what? I have some big, big news in part two. So you're definitely, definitely going to want to stick around for part two. That's good stuff. So, so I got to get this mess cleaned up so I can get all my stuff set up again. 
and I get back down on the canvas and do another pour. I'm not sure what the technique is going to be tonight, so we'll just have to see. So, till later. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start.